yeah, this one looks good to me. A little slow off the start, but not too bad. Actually, no, this is fine. This is fine. We can keep this because we can play a tap on one and then a tap on uh, three. So that works out well. And we get to leave up, make disappear for their three drop. No two from the opponent. That is very beneficial to us. Let's see. Let's see. Trespasser. Going to counter that or kill? Yeah, counter that so we don't get the two for one. Right? It means we can't counter the... Um, means we can't, unfortunately, counter the make disappear or the invoke despair. So we do have to be cognizant of that. But feel okay about everything else for the sake of all innocence, my will must you will serve me well eh, well we don't want a two for one ourselves so go for the throat here and then void her in there right void her in here then they're going to invoke despair hit us for six they draw three shouldered okay I'll take that. Let's go for the throw. Want to keep the grasp in case they're running um, our own shouldered. Okay. That resolves. They eat their stuff. <clears throat> okay. Don't think we want to two for one ourselves here. We have the land, but we... Don't want to flip, so let's just kill it. And then discard our land. Right? Because I know what would happen. We play shoulder, and then they have the kill spell. And then they get to eat us. Lily, okay. <sighs> Nobody knows Dominaria <laughs> this player discards. So discard grasp. Scrutiny would be nice. So, pitch a shouldered. Is that what's going to happen here? I guess so. Right? You won't be outsmarting me. Pitch shouldered. And then see if minus minus gets us there. So, they use one spell. Okay. That's why we discard the shoulder. This is going to hopefully give us a land. Lay the land, discard, send Let it back. Do the talking. Okay. Let's see what their last card is. We're going to get to draw two. Oh, man, that was a good one. That was a good one for them. Okay, okay. Ooh. Interesting. Interesting. They wanted to keep that. All right. Let's get rid of that. So it has to be Invoke Despair. That's exactly what that is, unfortunately. Um, stop them from drawing. Or apply pressure. Right? I think we just have to plus because if we minus... Right? To teach you. They hit the land. Because if we minus, they just drop. I mean, Bankbuster's tough. So now they have the ability to plus, but we just get rid of cut down. And then we can get rid of... Okay, all right. No, that worked out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> we all, all right. Things we Another Bankbuster. All right, get rid of this. And, man, this is a good you game. This is a good game. Let's see if they hit the land for the invoke. They do. So here's the invoke. Yep. They only draw one, thankfully. And they can't do that. So that was a step in the right direction for us. That was a step in the right direction for us. Do we draw at the end of turn? We'll see. They're going to draw. So the question is, do we play Wandering Emperor or not? I think we do. I think we do just to apply some pressure to them. No pause. Must protect the people. So let's attack. And we simply minus again. 
and then play the land because we're gonna draw right land they're gonna draw again we could kill that if we need to but don't think we do trespasser man that's that's awkward trespasser flip that's a good draw for them one two three four five six has a very good draw for them yep i still think we were correct to uh to do what we did draw come on give me something good that is not great not great okay so cycle shoot discard right okay cycle uh they have a pause good to know shouldered not bad plus strike fast and strike hard all right kill it kill it kill, kill it they get this but we can't just let them have at it so pitch this And we might as well attack because they have the kill spell for one of them. Unless it's crewing. Oh, it's not crewing. Oh. Okay. Okay. Let's see how bad they want to take out Wandering Emperor. Right? We will double block here. They've ex... Yep. Alright, we'll take that. Okay, okay. Oh, man. A victory. Perhaps the turning point. Oh my goodness. And keep this in hand in case they play another uh, Liliana. Oh my god. Oh, yes. Oh, that was a phenomenal game. Well done, opponent. Wow, that was amazing. Greetings, my fellow knights and punta wands. Welcome back to the MTG Struggle Bus, where I, Jedi, struggle more to play magic. So hopefully, you can struggle a whole lot less. Not going to innovate today, not going to lie. Going straight Esper mid-range here today, because it's a new month, so the new ladder. And of course, you're going to see a lot of mono red, a lot of mono white. So I decided to visit an old friend of ours that we know is well positioned against those aggro lists in the form of Esper mid-range. So... Once again, nothing too innovative, nothing fancy here, but let's go ahead and dive right into it. One Rota's Vertex, so I have a little interaction early and solid interaction later. Two cutdowns, because once again, we need to fight the aggressive decks. One March of Unworldly Light, Otherworldly Light to deal with enchantments and awkward things that exiles. One March of Wretched Sorrow to gain life in the late game. Three Make Disappear, very potent in the early game to get rid of those pesky two drops if we're on the play three drops if we're on the draw a clean way to fable and uh warfare one negate because sometimes we are playing the mid-range and we want to stop those farewells and those depopulates and negates a good way to get there four go through the throat one of the most efficient removal spells in the meta right now two infernal grass because hey seraph and flesh gorger are a thing and sometimes you just need to get an artifact off the board and so infernal grass is going to be that tool silver scrutiny is going to be our card draw of choice for this one just being able to play this on five most of the time is what we're looking for as our curve topper or later in the game we can main phase it for four five six x equals four five or six to replenish our hand three graveyard trespassers because getting rid of our opponent's graveyard is very important in today's meta and the ward is not anything to gawk at. Discarding card is a real cost. And then, of course, finally, the fact that the life gain helps us eating up our opponent's graveyard, both their creatures to gain a little bit of life, or their crucial lightning bolt and play with the fire so they can't bounce those back. One path of peril as a concession to a catch-up mechanic, right? It can easily be a two or three for one if we end up playing against a low-to-the-ground aggressive deck, presumably mono-red, and occasionally the mono-white, not so much the blue-white soldiers because they do run quite a few three-drops. But then, of course, later in the game, we use it to just clear the board out. 
for Void Ren, because if you're running Esper, why not run a card that is uncounterable? This gets around Ward and gets around those crucial and annoying mono blue decks with all their counter spells. They just can't deal with it unless they have slip out the back. One Celestis to give us card draw, life gain, filtering, and ramp. Two Flesh Gorgers because it's good early and it's great late, so why not have that nice, easy life link that we can use later on should we need it against those aggressive decks. And then finally, our top end. That's right, we stop at four, which is super sweet. We're running three Wandering Emperors because of Emperor things and three Shoulders because Shouldered. Don't really need to go too far into it. That is our top end. We are running two seats of a ganjo because once again, our curve stops at four, maybe five for silver scrutiny. And so I think it's perfectly all right to run two of these utility lands. One Adawara, one Takanume, a bunch of lands that come into play untapped because that's important to make sure we hit our curve. But then we are running two waterfront districts. I actually am starting to prefer these cards over the um the triomes reason being is triomes yes we can cycle them at instant speed for three later on that's nice but the problem is early in the game when we play them we play them and then that's all there is to it versus these districts the tap lands we could play them early we can use them for mana and later in the game when we flood we could sack them at no cost to us so i've been experimenting going back and forth with them we're only running two here but like i said i continue to be pretty impressed with these guys so you can let me know down in the comments below what your impression is between the triomes and the districts but that is the list my friends super fundamental but hey at this point in the mental why not right try something tried and true to let you climb before all is one comes out but before we get into the gameplay i want to give a shout out to bon lee lim bon thank you so much my friend for writing the struggle bus with us and writing the struggle bus with us and supporting me i really do appreciate it my friend you rock and this good old esper list is for you my friend all right opponents going first but we have plenty of interaction uh, i'm gonna keep this All right, up oh, time for some, for some decision -based gaming. we'll just go ahead and play everything out every turn and see if they run out of counter spells or not, my friends. That is going to be the thing. Let's go ahead and just play this because, I mean, they're only leaving up counter magic. An impulse. And let's see, really no way of being proactive here. All right. Uh, let's wait actually till the end of their turn. There we go. And try to bounce it. That way we get another turn. Seems reasonable. Seems reasonable. No kicker, no kicker. seems fair i can roll with that go this way and send it back i'm gonna probably hold off play it again okay i guess we could also wait it until they flipped it right i think that would have been an option as well we'll see we'll do that we'll hold off until they flip it all right and then we can we gotta save the Ottawara for their hottie gin No flip. So we will Wandering Emperor have them counter that. And we'll just minus one. <laughs> nice. Hit the land, gotta appreciate that. Send it back. They will thirst for discovery. And then let's see, scrutiny for three. All right, that's good enough. So we'll go for the throat. Counter. And to, 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 take the three. Send it back. Another Emperor, sure. Uh, 
I guess we might as well play our land so we can play around make disappear at the very least, right? No sense giving a freebie on that one. They go to attack. We play Wandering Emperor. They counter that. Let's see. I mean, we could keep playing around it, so I don't see the point in... Cool. Let's try to counter that. See if they have the spell pierce. They do not. Cool. Cool. I'll take that. That was a win for us. That was a win for us. And since they didn't have a counter, let's just kill that. And let's draw two. Okay. All right. All right. So. A victory. Perhaps the turning point. Let's see. We have Void Ren now, so we're not worried about Hottie Jin. So, despite being on kind of autopilot, kind of stuck, right? Yeah, we could pull this the trigger on this for a little bit more, but I think this is fine. And now we can pitch the... We can keep the path if they play another Delver, right? They're going to send it back. We will draw, take that action, pitch the path, and send it back. All right, now we're just looking for a win con. Uh, one, two, three, four. That seems reasonable. They have the hard counter. We still are able to Void Ren and March, so we're looking pretty good. Pretty good. If they want a combo, syncopate. Sure, we'll pay the three. And then they have to use their make disappear. So, it's weird that they decided to go that way instead of just paying the full amount, right? Oh, I guess they wanted to play around us having the counter magic. Gotcha. Well, it's still a two for one. So, I'm okay with that. They're going to thirst. That puts them up a card. Like, there's Hottie Jin. Excellent, excellent. Take that action. And let's pitch the march. One, two, three. Let's go here. They have a pause, but that can mean anything. And let's start eating cards. So make the Hottie Jin smaller. How big is the Hottie Jin? An eight? We actually don't care. So let's just eat their creatures. And then we'll keep this in hand, right? They have to have exactly slip out the back, which could be a thing. And we don't have, maybe we should have actually, now that I think about it, because then we could have comboed Void Ren plus slip out, or plus, uh... All right, let's see. Is that counter spell or is it slip out the back? Looks like it's gonna be, they're reading it, maybe. Fading Hope. Okay, cool. They top. Fair. Could still play it. Void Rend. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Do you have another one? They, whatever they played is on top, so that's why I'm doing it now. I don't want them to get whatever they have. Boom. Cool. Excellent, excellent. Let's go ahead and get in there and eat the hottie gin. I think gaining a little bit of life kind of benefits us. Man, are we actually doing it? We have a land to pitch. Another hottie gin. Okay. And go for the throat. Doing it on their turn so we could potentially flip. They already played a card. Let's see. So, what is that? Boom! Yes! Oh, that feels so good, taking down Mono Blue. All right, we're on the play, and yeah, two, three, four. Keep this, seems pretty good. Let's go ahead and lead off with the land that, that way we can play either card without taking damage. Red, white from the other side of the board. We like to see that. Let's go cave. 
jig is up. They know we got Esper going. And... Let's just counter that. Voidren, pretty good. Probably should have played our tap land there. That was my bad. I saw Voidren and got excited. Kind of rushed it. That definitely should have been a tower there. Alright. You got it. And then if we do it... Alright, so... Voidren at the end of their turn. So hold on, right? Alright, so I think now when we do this, they shouldn't get the dude back, right? If I time this correctly. Okay, cool. They did it. Excellent. Excellent. Another shoulder. Not great. Not great. That would have been a perfect time to play it, but I sequenced my lands wrong, but that's okay. So let's see what they got going on here. Naturalist. Okay. Land and then ooh, tap land. So kill it at the end of their turn. Pass. And kill it. Right? Okay, not too shabby. Not too shabby. Play our first shoulder. Then they untap and play their enchantment. So let's see if we can get there. Probably going to go ahead and draw. We know they have removal. They haven't done anything else. Yep, that's fine. Play the first one. Let's see if they have a follow-up play. They're holding on to that planes. We will play our land, play our other shouldered. We're not running invoke another borrowed time. Check, check. Still got one more left. Let's see if they have a follow-up play. All right, let's take three and draw four here. I think that's correct. Refill our grip. Okay, okay. Of note, this is not an enchantment, so we can kill it whenever. We're fine with that. We can take a hit here. We can take a hit. One, two, three. Circle confinement just to pump it. I, I could dig it. I could dig it. Oh, that was such a good draw for us. That was a great draw. One, two, three. So we hold on the Celestis. We're going to go here. We're going to tap the lands that don't deal damage to us, right? Yep. All right. This is looking good. We get to eat the Kami. And then we get to leave up Voidren and or Grasp. They go for the pump. I think we're going to go ahead and Void Ren. Right? They don't really run counter magic. Or does Hexproof work? Alright, let's let them attack. They don't have the mana, so we're good. Grasp this. And then we can attack and eat it. Oh, they do have the mana for it. Okay, respect, respect. I like the play, I like the play. Uh, we can pitch it. How big is this going to be? We can either void rend it or we can either way we pitch it. So let's keep it so it's a one for one. Seven. So one to cast and one, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, so close. Oh, seven. All right, there you go. <laughs> All right, let's do it when they're tapped out. Submit zero. Eat that. Oh, this feels good. Feels really good. And let's attack. Eat this one. Okay, okay. They're top decking. Granted, this deck top decks a lot. So let's see. Let's see if we can get there. The victory. Okay. The turning point. So. Alright, we can void rend one of these. So, let's keep. And then let's send it back. If they attack, yeah, yeah we're good. All right. Void ran the borrowed time. That makes this a four, right? And then we block. They don't have anything at instant speed. That felt good. Wow. We're actually doing all right. Yes, we will loot. 
pitch to land that deals damage. So as things are looking good, guys. Things are looking good. Path of Peril, not great. Um, let's pitch the land. I don't think we're going to attack here. I Like, here's the thing, right? They didn't play it. They didn't play it. They would have... If it was Emperor, they would have still killed our shoulder. Yeah, I'm going to attack. They're, they don't have anything. They don't have Emperor because they would have. So I'm glad I did the math there. Because it was a 4-4. Four, four. If they had Emperor, they could have plussed. Let's get rid of the Path of Peril. Keep our pinpoint removal. We could still draw. So we're looking good. And... Oh, that felt good. Oh, nice. That was a fun game. On the draw. Three lands. Removal. Yeah, we're keeping it. It feels good, man. Feels good. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen, shall we? When it contemplating about their first land, I can understand it. All right, planes <clears throat> could mean a lot. Could mean a whole heap of a lot. Hit our land drop like that. Start off with underground reaver. <clears throat> All right, so mono white. Got to keep go for the throw. Or I'm sorry, correction. Uh, gonna have to hold on on grass for their Seraph, right? Everything else is more or less doable. Definitely mono white. Okay, take your pick, my friend. Take your pick. So I think here, play Trespasser over Flesh Gorger. I mean, the Menace is kind of relevant, right? And then it could work in our favor should we top deck a... <clears throat> yeah, maybe. If we top deck a uh, Emperor, right? Because then we can attack. When they go to double block, we plus. They're in the tank. I mean, Anoiter, they hit Trespasser. Oh, okay. Well, that's, that's actually great for us. That's very interesting. All right, yeah. Not quite sure why they did that, but I'll take it. I will take it happily. Let's go ahead and play Trespasser then. Get that going. We have a block. So then... Trespasser could be pretty potent, right, against Paragon. Gonna sandbag the Grasp. See, yeah, and I like Trespasser here because, once again, playing around them having Paragon, this will allow us to kind of put pressure, and we have the ability to draw three, which is great. Yeah, I'm kind of liking our position here. Famous last words, right? Let's see if Jedi can punt this one away. <clears throat> Hit our land. Let's pressure our opponent. Some at zero. All right, let's go ahead and go flesh gorger, and then probably gonna have to sandbag. Right? Would not be surprised if we see a farewell, so we have to be careful. They know about the grass. There's Paragon. We knew that was a thing. <clears throat> Ooh, the second grasp is nice. Second grasp is very nice. So let's pass on their turn. No attacks. That way our guy gets bigger, right? Let's see what they do here. So we have to be careful, right? Because they do run board wipes and farewells and stuff. So we can't just willy-nilly kill the paragon we could draw three here but i also am not opposed to just straight up drawing uh five next turn interesting interesting so we can kill both of these things is that what we want to do one spell let's this is going to get bigger Let's see if they attack, right? 
<clears throat> hmm. They get another dude, which is a little on the annoying side. Kill that guy. So, do we attack to eat both of their guys, right? They get to eat two of our things, but we get to scrutiny for a full grip. I think I do. I think I do. Let's see if they have the guts, right? If they block, we get to eat two things. I feel pretty good about that. They have to know we don't have anything because of the fact that we didn't attack with Flesh Gorger, right? Okay. And then let's just refill our hand here for four. Go shields down on them. Okay, this feels pretty good to me. Pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six. We get Flesh Gorger for seven if we want to. They still don't have a good attack. <clears throat> let's see if they tower. Shields are down though. So if they wanted to fire off the... I, I think we're okay. I think it was a good enough trade, right? I ball in the Flesh Gorger. Lay down the Exiles. They take three here. They get to come in, take us down. So now I feel comfortable playing out the Flesh Gorger for full value here. Yep, that's pretty good. All right, so now we are stuck, right? We're going to have to. Ooh. Ooh. One, two, three, four, five. One shy. One shy, man. That's unfortunate. I wish we had enough. The problem is it won't get rid of that token. You see what I'm saying? But it does clear their board. Doesn't allow them to draw. Can we afford that? Then one, two, three, four, five versus going here and then clearing just these three. I don't like that. I think we are just going to path here. Take six. They don't get to draw. See what they add to the board. We're going to have to sandbag the gorger. Play a land. We can kill this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So looking for a shouldered here, that would be fantastic. If we can shouldered plus Ren, that would be awesome. They're going to draw here. Okay. Just one. I'll take it. I'll take the cycle. Ao. Oh, that's tough. Ao is tough. And land. Man. Maybe I got too greedy. Because then we would have been able to kill that. I think they got us. I think they got us, my friends. Unfortunately. Alright, so... Play land. Go here. And we still don't even have enough to cycle. So kill the warden. Let AO hit us. The problem is AO has vigilance. But we can't let them continue to flood the board. Man, what a bummer. I really thought we were, we were doing good there. I really did. They can hit whichever... Right? Doesn't really matter. So do we still hit AO? Is my question. I wonder. Oh, we're dead anyways. These are all going to deal damage to us. So actually, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Oh, man. All right. Good game. Good game. Yeah, because... Yeah, all these are going to ping us. So we take all three. They attack. Yup. Uh -huh. Boom, boom. Oh, man. Bummerino. <laughs> Alright, this one seems solid to me. Yeah, seems solid. If we fall behind, we have Path of Peril. If not, we have Trespasser. So, yeah, we're going to keep this one. Lead off with the old Tap Land Arena. Taking a little bit of damage. A little bit of damage. All right, Rafine's Tower. All right, that's going to be interesting. 
That is going to be interesting. Ash nod. So, I actually think I should have played the untapped land in case they, hmm, in case they played a Rafine. Let's see. We could take one. I'm not too worried about that part of it. May want a Path of Peril, may not. If we can get a two for one off of Path of Peril. Yeah, I think we're just going to do that. I think we're just going to go ahead and capitalize on getting the two for one here. And just going this way. Right? If they take the turn off, because she's an enchantment, so we can trespass her to eat her. Thanks, opponent. So, and then we can leave up cut down. Let's see what their play is, right? Yeah, because if not, they were just going to sacrifice. What happens? When rational attacks, you may sacrifice another creature if you do. Nothing from the opponent. Nothing from the opponent. So... Let's just do it. Eat that. Right? We know they have a spell. But I think being proactive here benefits us a little bit, right? No counter magic, because there was no pause there. It wasn't until we were in play. So now I have to figure out if they want to discard a card to feed the Trespasser, right? Go for the throw. And... Okay, okay. There was some value to be had there. Sending it back again. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, or five. So we're two away. We'll just hold. Don't want to play the Gorger now until we can play it for seven. Right? We can also just sack the draw. I think we can wait one more turn. Let's see what we get. All right. Go here. Send it back. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, so the oops was missing their land drop. Got it. Okay. Here and... Let's see, hold on, one, two, three, four. Oh yeah, we could do both, okay. Go for the throat. And then Emperor, pay full price. Two, three, four, six. And then minus. Nice. Let's go here, pay full price. And minus again, and then attack. All right, there we go. So our opponent missing land drops. We turned the corner pretty quickly. And they've seen enough. All right, I'll take it. Well, Knights, that is the deck. Solid four to five. Solid four to five. I think you're happy crafting absolutely everything on this list. Um, Silver Scrutiny might be the only thing that's kind of pushing it. Obviously, Void Rends, I guess if you're not Esper, right? It specifically wants Esper. Everything else feels pretty good to me overall. Um... It does need a little bit of a catch-up mechanic, right? I wouldn't even be opposed to maybe going down, like... <clears throat> maybe cutting the Negate. Negate or Vortex for uh, another Path of Peril, right? Uh, I could also see... Probably not Depopulate. Maybe Farewell. That was initially what I had on the list, but I kind of figured since we wanted to be a little more proactive, we didn't need a straight dedicated board wipe and just something a little more flexible like that did the job which it did right and it's very well positioned against the mono red which is one of the things we were going up against so yeah solid list nothing too special as we creep towards the end of the format um but you know hey we're revving up and started off like i said beginning of the new ranking system so a lot of mono red on the ladder i feel like this has a fairly good matchup against it so i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you so much for tuning in if you made it this far in the video please do consider dropping a like subbing if you so feel inclined it would mean a lot to me and uh yeah until next time as always my friends happy gaming